So let's talk about the print function in PHP and the new line command. As I've talked about before, many people use PHP essentially as their secretary for their web pages. PHP will take information from web forms and dump that information into databases or files, and it can read from databases and files to either outport, output to a web page or output to something like a text file. So being able to print from databases, being able to print from PHP scripts is a very important thing. Now it is important to understand when you print, you have to be thinking about what you're printing to and what the user interface is for the person that's going to be consuming the content that you're presenting. So if you're uh, printing out a report, if you open up a file in a text editor, it is going to look different than if you open up a file in a web browser. So if you're going to be out, uh, expecting your viewers to read content in a web browser, you have to remember to format everything in HTML, whereas if you expect people to read something, let's say in a log file, or if they're going to be printing things out, may possibly you need to format everything so that it looks appropriate in a text editor editor or something like Word. So it is, is very important to understand when you're using print and when you're using the new line command that you really think about how the person that is going to be reading the content is going to be reading the content. Again, whether it's going to be from the web browser or whether it's going to be through something like a text editor or word processor. The other thing that you have to think about when you're using PHP in order to, to dynamically create web pages is if you have to go and look at the source code that is dynamic dynamically created. So whenever you look at a web page, there's the web page you see. So if you go to CNN.com or failnormal.com or elithecomputerguy.com, you're going to go there, you're going to see pictures, you're going to see text and fonts and colors, and basically you're going to see a website how you're supposed to see it. But remember, your web browser is reading HTML and JavaScript code. And so you can uh, actually inspect that code. So you right click and go to to inspect and when you do that you can actually see all the underlying code all of the HTML all of the JavaScript all of that kind of stuff so it, it's also important to, to think about when you're learning PHP is to think about how to format the output of your code in such a way that if there are errors you can go and you can inspect the code and it's easier for you to see what's going on in the back end so with that let's go over to the computer and I can show you how print and the new line command works when you're printing out, when you're using PHP. So here's a simple script using the print function in PHP. We have three different examples here. The first example is where we're simply using print. The second example is where we're using print, but we're also using the new line command at the end of, of every sentence. And then the final one is where I show you how you can use new line to kind of be stupid if you want to, just to realize what extreme you can go to. So basically up here, we're taking a look at this and uh, we have the, the, the title for this particular example. So we have H1, this is just an HTML print PHP print example. Then below this, what we're going to do is we're going to call the PHP script, and then we're going to use the print function. So to use the print function, all you do is type in P-R-I-N-T, space, double quotation marks, and then you say whatever it is you want to say. So here we have hyphen print item one, then we do it again, hyphen print item two, hyphen print item three. So basically you can plug anything in here. Uh, I'll show you in the future how to do things such as plug the variables in here. Uh, you then close with the double quotation marks and for every line you then uh, finish it with a semicolon. It's very important to remember the semicolon. So what this is going to do is it's going to print print item one. Then it's going to print print item two and then it's going to print print item three. And so it's important to, when you take a look at this with how this is on the page, how I wrote this code, you want to think about how you think this is going to be printed out both in HTML in, and in text. We'll show you the example in a minute once I go through the other code that we have here. We then come down here for this particular page. We have H1 PHP print with the new line command example. And so again, we call PHP then we're going to do print. This is identical to what we have up here, only at the end of each sentence, before this, the, uh, the quotation marks, I did backslash n. So with this, what's going to happen is it's going to print, then it's going to print item 1, then it's going to say go to new line, and then it's going to close semicolon. So it's going to print this on one line, 
then it's going to print item 2 using that backslash n on another line then you're going to go down to print item 3 and backslash n it'll print that on the next line so using the backslash n this is how you can print onto multiple lines so instead of having everything just get printed across on one continuous line using the n is how you can break and you can go to the next line to show you a ridiculous example of this we have the h1 stupid new line command oops stupid new line command example and what you have down here is again we call PHP we then do print space double quotation and then what you can see here is basically after every letter I put that new line command in so that it will go to the next line 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 so this is the ridiculous example but this is basically the two ways that you use the print function either you can print all in one line so you can print different things that are all in one line or you can use the new line command to go to new lines. Now when we go and we take a look at the web page that gets printed out from this, you might be surprised with what you see. So when we upload this, and if you go to Silicon Dojo, print.php, you'll see the example, and you might be confused here because you see the, the PHP print example H1, and then you see print item 1, print item 2, print item 3. And these are all in the same the same row. So that probably makes sense to you. But then you come down here and you see the PHP print with backslash n example. And you're sitting there and you're probably thinking, well, isn't this supposed to be a new line? But again, everything is oops everything is in one in one line why is that and then again if we go down here to the stupid new line uh, example you can still see everything is in one line the reason for this is remember when you're using PHP it prints out as a text file and then if you want to use any formatting you have to make sure that you also print the HTML tags that go along with it so if we go here we go down and we take a look at the view page source. What we can see when we look at the text of this file is you're seeing something entirely different than when you're looking at the file through a web browser. So here, right, print item 1, print item 2, print item 3. This is all in a row as you would have expected from the code. Right, so print item one, print item two, print item three. You see that all from the code, that makes sense. Now, when you come down here for the new line command, what you can see is print item one was printed on one line, then print item two was printed on the next line, then print item three was printed on the next line. So although you don't see this using a web browser, this is how it looks when you see a text editor. Then we, when we come down, when we take a look at the stupid example, that's when you get this stupid mess down here. Basically, again, we printed uh, each individual letter on a different line. Even though when we go here, we don't see the exact same thing. So this is the important thing to understand when you're using print and when you're using the new line command. What you print out to a text file is not necessarily what the web browser will see. So you really have to think about that. So with all you have to do in order to use the print command is, again, you, you call the, the PHP. So you have the PHP tag. You do print. You do space. You do double quotation marks. And then you say whatever it is you have to say. And then you close double quotation marks. And then you end the line with a semicolon. You keep doing that or whatever else until you're finished with that bit of PHP code and then you close the PHP tag. If you want to do the new line, again, you're going to be writing out two different lines with text. Again, the same thing. You call the, the PHP with the PHP tag. You use print. You use the same function. You don't use print ln. That's something you use for other, other coding languages. Again, you do space. Then you do double quotation. You say whatever it is you want to say. And then wherever it is you want to create that new line, you drop in backslash n, that will create a new line and then you can close the double quotation marks and you can do the parentheses so with that that's how you use the function command and how you use the new line uh, do realize when you print this out to uh, to your text file how it's going to be viewed in a web page is different than how it's going to be viewed as a text editor so that's all there is to using the print function in PHP and the new line command. You just do print, space, 
double quotation marks, say whatever it is you want to say, close double quotation marks, and then do a semicolon. If you want to put a new line within the print function, you just do backslash n wherever you want that new line, and then it will print everything out in the text file as the basic text. It is important to remember, though, when you're outputting using PHP, you have to think about how your users or how your viewers are going to be consuming the information. Are they going to be consuming it with a web browser, or are they going to be consuming it with a text editor or a word processor? That will determine whether or not you're going to be adding in additional HTML tags or or whether you strip them out. So this is an important thing to be thinking about. It's important to think not, like how somebody is consuming the information and what user interface they're, they're using to consume the information for thinking about how you're going to be writing the code. The other thing that's important, especially using the new line command, is when you're beginning to write code, it can be very confusing to figure out where your problems are. So when you look at something on an HTML web page uh, and you see an error somewhere, if you then go to the source code and, and you look at the source and all you have is one big block of 30 lines uh, of source and everything's mixed in, it may be very difficult to troubleshoot and figure out where the problems are. So if you, if you code your PHP script in such a way that it outputs a source that's easy to read that will make your life a lot easier especially in the beginning when you're trying to troubleshoot your code again when you start adding functions when you start doing things that are more complicated it if all you have is one big block of source that gets outputted by PHP that can be very confusing to look at if you have something that's formatted relatively uh, decently you can go in and you can say oh okay this is the section where I know I'm having a problem oh I see I did something wrong there. I forgot to put a semicolon or whatever there. I see that's what the issue is. So that's how you use the print function and the new line command and why it matters.